All right, so Nollywood actress Ruth Kadiri declares war between herself and sensational YouTubers. Welcome, welcome back, Trends with Octavia Lovers. Let's dive right into this trending uh, gist, and trust me, many more is to come. Yes, so Nollywood actress, you know that Ruth Kadiri has been trending for a while, and if you watch Nollywood movies on youtube then you know that root kadiri is a name that you know or, or face that you are used to seeing because she is good at making good movies but she's been trending for some reasons like when someone mm -hmm, another actress took someone that she used to work with that was something that trended another thing that root kadiri has actually trended for is the fact that she got married and nobody has seen well i mean general public has never seen the face of her husband okay you either hear his voice or you see just something of him but nobody knows what he really looks like and people started speculating that oh she got married to a married man or this and that and so she has been on the news for some time and trust me youtubers were not left out or should i use her own words sensational youtubers were not left out they've been creating content about her talking about her but i think at this point root has gotten to the point where enough is enough she has said enough is enough and she needs to do something about the situation and then she took to her youtube channel to post a short video of about one or two minutes where she just went straight addressing the point not like she's so serious that she didn't even say hello to her fans or to whatever she just went straight addressing the sensational youtubers straight up and this is what she had to say if you're just joining you're welcome don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any trending gist celebrity gossip and all those juicy stuff okay so ruth kadiri took to her youtube channel and she posted that she's addressing sensational youtubers and in her own words she said i have been giving you people enough time and if you people feel like you are going to keep doing this where you feel oh you know that these are names that will sell uh, by using our pictures uh, you put our pictures together and you put a title that is not even true you don't try to verify your stories you're trying to tarnish my image and you just put it up and start running these stories i see these stories i've just been letting y'all go but it seems like you people won't stop if i don't do anything about it and now i'm coming out here okay and i'm warning y'all okay create good content if you want to create good content i work so hard to keep my image clean not because i am perfect or whatsoever but i try my best to keep my image clean and the last thing i would do is to allow you to come and tarnish my image you people do so much that you make it look like i have issues with everybody even people that i'm in good terms with you people come out with these titles and thumbnails and talk about things that you don't know stories that you've not verified but yet you will run these stories that i am just coming out here to warn you people that i might not know much about facebook but trust me you see this one here youtube try me I am warning you people to try me because when I would do what I would do, you people will come begging. And Ruth said, she is going to strike your channels and take your channels down. So if you are one of those sensational YouTubers talking about Ruth Kadiri, you should be very, very careful and make sure that the stories you're telling is something that you have proof of, okay, is verifiable. So whenever Ruth strikes your channel or whatnot, you're able to go and prove that you are making a story that is actually true and not just a story where you just saw something online and you started running with it because she said she is not joking that she will be striking channels and bringing channels down and she also added that if you people are doubting her you should go ask those people that have been there before now when you people will be sliding into her dms begging her oh please forgive i was just trying to cash make some money or do, that she will not listen that people that knows knows her that if you people wants to dare her then keep on with the type of stories you're reporting on and then be rest assured that she is going to strike your channel or she's going to do what she knows how to do best.
by taking action so you keep her name out of your mouth she also said she's not saying that people should not talk about her or whatnot but if it if what you want to say is not movie related okay by talking about her movie or talking about her being an actress or something happening in the entertainment industry that involves her you want to talk about her that all of those stuffs are okay there is nothing wrong with that if you're reviewing her movies or anything you want to say that's perfect but when you go around saying things that she feels is damaging to her image her reputation that she worked so hard to build that she will not take it lightly with you so sensational youtubers be warned because with the way ruth was delivering this message there was no single them smiling ruth kadiri's face and i think she means what she just said and it is very difficult to build a youtube channel i would say tread with caution as a fellow content creator that's what i would say tread with caution if you have the story and some or somebody sent you something to run a story about ruth kadiri try to verify it if it's fact because if it's fact then that's a different battle okay she gets to report your page that's a different battle it will take time but you will get it sorted out if you can prove that what you said is true and you're not you know trying to ruin her reputation and she cannot sue you for defamation and stuff like that then that's fine but if you know that you're just running with what you see on the blogs all over social media and you don't know where they got their stories from you don't know if their stories are verified you just feel like because it's a blog uh, or it's a blogger that posted it on social media you too you're going to run with the story be extremely careful if you're doing that be rest assured to include in your video that you do not know you've not verified or possibly stay away from such stories if you really really do like talking about Ruth Kadiri then probably you have to change tactics by start talking about her movies she makes a lot of movies her channel is very popular here uh in the nigerian community okay when you're talking about nigerian movie creators and post uh, people that post videos about nollywood you can count Ruth Kadiri as one of those that are up there doing well for herself on YouTube with the type of movies she does. So probably you go back and start reviewing her movies. But if you are a strong concom head that would not listen, go ahead with what you're doing. But Ruth Kadiri didn't look like someone that is smiling and she is going to be taking actions just as she has said. Now, another question I want to leave here before we go is the fact that I want to to ask you people do you people think that Ruth Kadiri is taking actions that is just too drastic or you think it is right for her to do so in order to protect her image let me know in the comment section let's talk about this let's keep this uh, 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 conversational in the comment section let's be inter let's interact together and uh, let's dissect this let me know what you think in the comment section do you think what Ruth said she will follow through? Do you think it's the right way to go about it? Or she as a YouTuber also should understand and not strike people's channel. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.